Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're going to see in Civil 3D how to create a sort of like a combined surface. And this is basically uh, when you get a, another surface that you want to embed into your existing ground surface or probably a design surface. And this is what the methodology methodology that you would use. All right, so let's get into it. So what we have in this drawing is an existing ground surface and then a corridor, a couple of surfaces from the corridor. One will be the datum surface, which is a bottom most linked uh, connected surface. Another one is a top surface. And then we got profiles and sub assemblies and assemblies. All right, that's all we have in here. So if you want to know how I created all these ones, check my previous tutorial videos and you should be able to see those ones. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my existing ground surface. I'm going to clone this one and make a design surface. And then in the design surface, I'm going to paste the datum surface of the corridor. So that is what I'm going to do. So first thing is let me create a new surface. So now uh, I can even create a folder and I can create the surface within that. So I'm going to create a surface. I'm going to call this one as design surface. And then I'm going to give a different style to it. So it doesn't look in the same way as contours that we have here. So I'm going to choose triangulation magenta. And remember these styles will change based on the country kit and template that you use. So I'm going to click on OK. So even though the surface is created, you may not see anything on the screen. It's just because we have not added any data into the surface. So I'm going to expand it to design surface, expand it to definition. And then there is an option that says um, we're going to uh, edits and then click on paste surface. So in the base surface, uh, first I'm going to choose my base surface, which is my existing ground natural surface. Click OK. And uh, so now the surface, you can see it. I'm going to go back again and then paste surface. And this time I'm going to choose uh, M1 corridor datum surface. Click OK. And now the combined surface is created. So I can actually select just the combined surface and then go to object viewer. And then you can see the datum uh, datum surface has been integrated into the new design surface. All right, so that's a pretty short video. And uh, what you could also do is um, you can use this to do comparisons against the natural ground surface, and then you can create the volumes and stuff, which we also, I think, we have seen in previous other videos as well. So that's basically if you go into uh, volume dashboards, and then you can say, okay, I want to do a volume comparison. And then uh, you can choose a surface style, whatever. And then uh, the base surface is going to be natural surface. And then the comparison surface will be my design surface. Click OK. And then it tells you uh, what is the total cut that you're going to do and what is the total fill and what is the net. And then you can see what is a cut and fill percentages. So this gives a very clear idea of what is happening. And, um, and then you can also get a report out of it as well. Um, so that is uh, that is all for for this lesson here, guys. And uh, we'll catch up in a couple of other tutorials as well. Uh, just let me know if you have any other questions. I'll uh, happy to assist you whenever I can. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much.